Okay, in this video I'm going to show you my completed power inverter that I made. It's a 12 volt to 120 volt and it uses a microwave oven transformer as well as a drive circuit with two MOSFETs. If you click the link right here you can see the drive circuit that I used and how to make that. Now what I did is I took a bunch of sheet metal I had laying around and I made this nice housing for it. Everything is riveted together and soldered along the bottom took a panel mounted 120 volt receptacle that's a regular LED hooked up to a resistor to limit the current it only draws about three or four milliamps and this LED will run just fine using alternating current on half the cycle as long as you don't drive them more than four or five milliamps if you drive them near their rated output then when the inrush comes on usually you will blow them so when this receptacle is live, you will see that red LED come on. I have a Romex clamp on top. This is 8 gauge wire. The, the unit has a 30 amp fuse on it. It draws maybe 25 to 27 in that range. Now the maximum output is roughly 350 watts. Using the transformer that's in here in conjunction with the MOSFETs that I have. Okay, this fan was removed from an old desktop computer. I just cut a big hole in the side. And there's a hole on this end right here. A small one there. But the bottom, as you can see, has a whole bunch of holes. I took a plate from a lavatory light and I soldered it onto the bottom of the whole unit. And by doing that, the airflow will be drawn in through all these openings past the transformer. And right in front of the fan, there are two MOSFETs that are suspended by a bracket with their heat sinks. So you're getting maximum cooling for the MOSFETs and the transformer, the way this is designed. Now I also incorporated into the circuit a low input DC voltage alarm. If the 12 volt battery drops down to around 10.6 volts, a loud piezo alarm will come on. an inrush limiting circuit and the reason for that circuit is any time that you're powering inductive loads such as motors or transformers the inrush current could be so large that the MOSFETs in there can blow so what I did I installed a fixed resistor the value is roughly 0.1 ohm and around 30 watts and it's in series with the positive going to the center tap of the transformer the resistance is so low that once you make that connection the current just flies into the circuit so by using the 0.1 ohm resistor in series with the positive going to the center tap of the transformer you effectively eliminate that large inrush current that would go into the MOSFETs once the connection is made and the resistor does its job then you want to remove the resistor from the circuit so what I designed is a very simple circuit which effectively bypasses the resistor a half to one second after initial contact is made with the clamps. So what happens, the resistor handles the inrush and then a half a second to a second later a relay will engage bypassing the resistor allowing full current into the circuit. And it works perfectly every time. Now the relay I use is a double pole double throw 20 amp and what I did, because this circuit has a 30 amp fuse in it, I paralleled up both of the 20 amp relay contacts. And by doing so, I could now handle roughly 40 amps of current through both of those contacts in parallel. And that's exactly what I did here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to use my 12 volt marine battery that's on my inverter generator that I built, which you'll see in a minute. And once the initial contact is made, I'm going to have a 100 watt light bulb connected as well as a palm sander and I'll run both together but when, you, when the connection is first made the fan will come on, you'll hear the transformer humming the power indicator will be on, the light will come on and after about a half of a second to one second you will see the light come on even brighter 
That's when the inrush resistor has been bypassed, allowing full current to flow through the inverter. Okay, the negative from the inverter is now connected to the 12-volt battery on my inverter generator that I built. There's also a video for that if you want to learn how I made that. What I'm going to do now is take the positive clamp from the inverter, connect it to the battery, and power up my inverter. Alright, now I'll show you the power indicator will come on, the LED. I'm also going to show you that the frequency is right around 60. This is kilohertz, so 0.060 is 60 hertz. I'm going to turn on the light, and then also while the light's on, the palm sander. Now once I turn the power on, the light will come on. You'll see it come on slightly dimmer. You'll hear a click. That's when the inrush resistor will be bypassed by the relay, allowing full current to go to the light. All right, here we go. You can see the, the light is on. Cooling fan is running perfectly, cooling everything. You can hear the hum of the transformer. And our frequency is 060, 061, right around 60 hertz. Now I'm going to go and turn the palm sander on. Here we go. Now if this was connected to the battery for a long time and the voltage dropped to around 10.6, the piezo alarm, which is very loud, would start to sound to let you know it's time to disconnect the inverter from the battery. If you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe, rate it a thumbs up, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Thank you.